Hello. Now, let me introduce you to another missionary named Reynolds. Reynolds graduated with first class honors in Hebrews from Hampton Sydney College at Virginia in the US. It's weird, isn't it? I don't think God sent people to Joseon unless they were an honor student or top class. Through missionary Reynolds' story in Joseon, you will realize that the Korean Bible we are reading has been translated through a very difficult process. I'm going to tell you the story of who translated the Korean Bible and see what kind of hard process the Bible took to get to me. So, as I said just before, Reynolds, who graduated with excellent results, also listened to the Joseon missionary report and decided to go to Joseon. He prayed to God like this. Lord, please let me go to Joseon and translate the Korean Bible written in Korean. Use me as your worker for the gospel so that many lost souls of Joseon may return to the Lord. This is how he prayed and he eventually came to Joseon. Well, at the time, Joseon had a Korean Bible translators. There was the order of official translators and they started to translate the Korean Bible. But the Korean Bible was already translated even before the missionaries entered Joseon. Fifteen years before they came in, missionary John Ross was translating the Bible into Korean while traveling between Manchuria and Japan. There's a strange thing happened in Joseon. Something unprecedented happened in Joseon. Joseon was the first and only country where missionaries carried the Bible written in the language used where they were preaching to. Usually, they went into the country and translated the Bible into native language. Which means that where there are already souls who got saved in the country, they can make a Bible written in indigenous languages. But in Joseon, Bible translation began 10 to 15 years before the missionaries came in. John Ross, a missionary from Scotland, started translating. So the Korean Bible was already in the hands of the missionary Underwood and Appenzela who first came to Joseon. This unprecedented event happened in Joseon. Looking at this event, I think we can feel that God has prepared for Joseon. At the time, when missionary John Ross translated the Korean Bible, his wife and four children died of endemic disease. Nevertheless, he continued to do his work and lay the foundation for the first Korean Bible. He translated the Korean Bible with Chinese scholar Su Jung Lee traveling between Manchuria and Japan. But the reason why Reynolds came to Joseon was because John Ross found something wrong with part of the New Testament in Korean version. First, he thought he'd invite a missionary who has a gift for the language. That's why missionary Reynolds entered Joseon. Missionary Reynolds came to Joseon and read the New Testament, and he found that translated Korean language was too difficult. For example, in John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one cometh unto the Father but by me. So, as you can see, they wrote less used and difficult words like saith and cometh. The translated Korean language was difficult even for Koreans to read. In this way, he found more wrong places in the Bible and started to translate them again. His first son was born in the first year of coming to Joseon. Yet, 
his first son went to heaven as soon as he was born. Then Reynolds prayed to God, Lord, in John chapter 1, verse 1, you said, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Like this verse, the reason I came to Joseon was because the lost souls in Joseon can be saved through this translated Bible and to be used as your tool in preaching the gospel in Joseon. So please hold on to my faith so that I can continue to translate this Korean version without giving up. He prayed in this way and sent his first son to heaven. But regardless of this sorrow, he was concerned with how to please God and continued to translate the Bible until the end. At last, 66 Korean books of the Bible were translated perfectly in 1911. It was perfectly translated into the Korean Bible that we are currently reading without any mistakes. It took 42 years for the Bible to be translated. Look, King Sejong created Hangul, right? However, it's the missionaries who distributed Hangul to the public. How? by translating the Bible into Korean. Like the Bible was distributed and passed on to the ordinary people, and then they learned Korean alphabet and got salvation. A surprising event happened. If you read the Bible often, you will never fall into ruin. If you read the Bible often, you will get passion for preaching the gospel. Just for the sake of the missionary, I will have to read this precious word of God, the Bible. He was a missionary who taught us this lesson. Thank you.